perfect stop motions comes out great. When your doll is sturdy, these clear doll stands are not the best. A lot of times, the dolls begin to slide down. When I take photos sometimes they slip as you can see with the Lyle doll. She looks like she is shrinking a little. Invest in some blue tack, to post your doll stands down, so it doesn't move, that way you get better stop motions, it is several steps to achieving great stop motions in this part of the video. I will show you how I use the app software, Stop Motion Studio Pro. I already did show the type of software that I use. I will show you all the photos in Stop Motion Studio. I will show you how I use the gear to pick a time frame. Now, it is said that the perfect stop motion is 24 frames per second. Let's give that a try, to see how that comes out. So guys, as you can see, I went to the, mic um, the Microsoft Store, and I'm going to open this up so you can see how I get my Stop Motion Studio Pro, the program that I use to do stop motions. So in the space bar, I'm going to type it in. You see it already pop up because I always use it and just waiting for it to open up and then i'm just going to uh click on it and it costs five dollars and 99 cents if you want to get it they used to have the free one but maybe it changed so i'm going to open it i'm just showing you this is where i go and i gonna i'm opening it up again and so here on this page you will see oh that's old you know projects that i've done so you want to do a new one you're going to click new project and that's just the onion skin when you're taking pictures so you know how to move your dolls it'll help you with that help you see the motion and you're going to click the plus sign and that's where you would add all your photos and I will show you that part in the next part thanks okay guys so now I am going to my SD card that I put inside my computer so I can get all the photos that I've taken so I'm gonna open it up as you can see and I'm going to go to photos and I'm gonna have to scroll down and I'm gonna have to find those photos the first thing I do is I find them where I can copy and I can paste them so I just test to see what was the first picture that I took so that way I know how many I need to copy so I'm going to highlight it all as you can see and I am going to right click and copy and then I'm going to scroll up and go to pictures so I can save them into my computer and I'm going to right click and click paste. That way the pictures are on my computer because when sometimes when you remove the SD card it removes everything. So now as you can see all my photos are there. And fine that looks good now I'm gonna go back to my stop no stop motion studio pro and I'm gonna click on the plus okay I'm gonna click the plus sign so I can get the pictures because it's like you have to do it twice if you do you do have to save your pictures so I'm gonna get the photo so I can um, copy them over into stop motion studio so that I can give it a stop motion frame rate right so that's what I'm doing I'm just checking to see which is the first photo I need to get first once I notice where it's at I'm gonna highlight it and I'm going to snatch all the photos that I need so that I can make my stop motion a studio so I can make my stop motion for my dolls sorry and um, I don't know how many pictures I took maybe about 30 so it's highlighted now I'm gonna click open and they are going to be transferred over into stop motion studio that's why you see it says working it is a process doing stop motions and I do realize 
Sometimes people don't like them because it is a process. It's step one, step two, step three, step four. And maybe some people feel like they don't have time for all of that. But I do like it. So now they're here in my program. And normally I click the, the, the back button to hit play. Just to see what it looks like. I do notice it has a lot of flickering because once again my lights are off. Meaning some of my lights is daylight lights and then some of them is bright white lights so it still is not evenly lit so i'm going to the settings so i can adjust the time frame so i made a mistake here and i thought that i can use the time frame for one second which i'm going to scroll it to one which i wasn't supposed to do and i felt if I scroll it to one and I put 24 frames in there that's going to give me a stop motion but for some reason that didn't work um, it's moving extremely slow I thought it would have been faster um, so that's completely wrong so what I'm going to do is I am going to adjust the time rate like I said I'm still learning um, probably with each pro like different stop motion programs is different sometimes it's probably easier for other stop motion programs and maybe harder this isn't hard I'm just not understanding how many frames to put in to one second so I thought 24 frames for one second is like a perfect stop motion so what I did is so now I hit play and that's 20 to like 27 frames for one second and it doesn't look good so I'm going to change it so I go back to settings and I'm going to change the speed and I'm going to put it at 10 frames right you see me scrolling it over and if you look it says movie speed frames seconds at 2 at 10 frames per second okay so it's like 10 frames at two seconds okay so it's just a little confusing to me and yeah that's so that's what it takes and as you can see the doll look like she's slipping there's another thing I want to show you about when you have your dolls on the doll stand and you know I saved the movie I'm showing you how I save it I save it into videos I'm gonna give it a name and this is Lila and Jasmine so I just use their names and I save it okay that part is done and now I just hit the back button and I go back to my program which is power director I'm gonna import that file the one I just saved so I'm gonna click on videos on the left side I'm gonna type in the name Lila which normally it'll pop up as you can see it popped up Lila and Jasmine click it click on it highlight it and then hit open and then now it's in my program okay so that is how I do my stop motions for stop motion studio that is how I put them in so I'm gonna stop right here so as you can see I'm playing it for you and I played it again and it was pretty fast so that was I don't know how many photos I think it was about 30 photo photos at two seconds for 10 frames so I'm gonna stop here this was part three please stay tuned for the last and final part we are learning to use stop motions together we can learn from one another thanks so much for watching